The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. And then there's a picture of Max with a hammer nailing a cloth into the wall, and there's a bear strung up, I assume murdered, maybe a suicide. I don't know. He's got a stool. Anyway, he chases a dog with a fork. I don't think he's really going to eat him. The kids are jerks, you know. There's a picture on the wall that says by Max. <laughs> you know, I assume he's really. Anyway, after his mother yells at it, you don't see her, but there's a picture. And it's a picture of Max standing in his room next to the bed. He, he looks mad. That very night in Max's room, the forest grew. And then in the picture, you can see that the posts of his bed have turned into some kind of birch trees, I assume, because they're thin, like a birch wood, but they're not white. Uh, maybe an off-white. It's it's moonlight. It's hard to tell. And Gru. And the bedside table is a bush now. And Gru until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And then you can see him dancing around and there's some kind of bugs on the earth. With, oh, no, there's flowers. I don't know why they have bug ears. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. He's in a boat, he looks pleased with himself, he looks very happy to be there. And there's another tree out in the middle of the water. I, I don't know why. <laughs> and, and, and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And then there's a, a wild thing on the page. It's got kind of a puffy steam nose and some kind of some kind of bird feet and uh, you know like alligator mouth. And then he's uh, you know he hits the the beach on the out of the water. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed the terrible claws and in the picture you can see he doesn't look scared he's kind of annoyed like you know who are these bastards and there's a goat bastard riding on the back of some kind of uh you know rhinoceros and then there's a big-headed monster that sort of looks like ernie from sesame street uh, you know, going wrong, and then there's some kind of duck-footed lady, um, you know, kind of scratching her arms up in the air, but, you know, they're smiling, so they look jovial enough, so the kid is kind of a jerk, I think that's the point you're supposed to get, <laughs> there's more than trees, but the flowers don't have bug ears, till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all the yellow eyes without blinking once and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all uh, and so you see him standing there kind of doing a hocus pocus dance uh, while the, the rhinoceros looks uh, mesmerized with claws on his face and then uh, the goat is kind of spooning him a little in amazement and shock and there's more trees, there's no bug flowers, and the duck foot girl is sitting next to evil Ernie, and then there's now a bull man. And made him king of all the wild things. And, you know, sure enough, he's got a crown, and one of those king sticks, and Ernie's bowing. He's got, he has a tail now, I didn't see that before. And there's a moon. 
uh, behind some other kinds. It looks like a eucalyptus, and there's some other trees. And then now the bull man is out and he has people feet next to the duck foot girl. And then there's a parrot head in front of the rhinoceros who is scaled in the trees. Apparently she doesn't like king sticks. And now cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And so now we're at the different part of the book where there's no words, um, just images. And then uh, kind of a kind of a big nosed guy looking up at the moon with the rhinoceros. Um, you know, and Max is yawning and stomping around while uh, you know some kind of fat stripey thing with a pug nose and a Prince Valiant hair. And then there's uh, you know, some other guy, when, uh, when, you know, I, I don't know where these people are coming from, but he's by a tree and he looks like he needs help. And then on another pages, you see the, the big uh, Ernie monster swinging around and, you know, Max is way up there doing that. So, well, he's probably safe. They can do it. And then the monster with the duck feet is next to the bull who is looks like having a staring contest with you know the bird man so now we're in another page where max has his king stick and he's uh you know thumping it around on the bull man's head and apparently uh he's being fancy with ernie and then uh devil big nose and hell person is with uh you know smiley mcduck feet and they're having a good time. And then there's uh, monsters sleeping on the trees and they're all tired. And you know, Max looks kind of bored and he's sitting in some kind of tent on a stool. And he says, now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat, and so gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, No, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And so you see him there in his boat, kind of waving, you know, smiling, and the monsters are all, you know, sort of happy. You know, kind of thing with the devil one, he kind of looks like George Wendt, you know, which that's nice. You know, kids, kids love George Wendt. And uh, so, and Max sailed back over a year in, in and out of weeks and through a day. And again, there's trees in the water. I don't, it's crazy. I don't know who put trees in the water. Uh, but there's a moon. And into the night of his very own room, where I found his supper waiting for him. And you can see that uh, you know, his room is a regular bedroom now with a table. And the birch trees are gone. And now he's got some kind of soup and cake and a plant, but I, I don't know if he's eating that. That was there before. And a glass. And it was still hot. 